All right, hello, welcome. In this video, we are solving for x, but we've got some tricky stuff happening here. And what I mean is, you can you can tell we have fractions, and you can tell that in the denominator of several of these fractions, or all of them, excuse me, there's a variable. So that's tricky because we don't know the value of x. So as we calculate or do work in this problem, we could end up with extraneous solutions or false solutions because in the process of multiplying or dividing by x, if x just happens to be, let's say, 2, for example, 2 minus 2 is 0, um, you would be solving a problem uh, in a way that just doesn't really work because dividing by 0 is undefined. So with that being said, let's let's try some stuff out. What would, you, what would I do to solve this problem? Well, most of the time when I'm dealing with um, fractions, I try to multiply by the least common multiple. And this one works out really nice because x squared minus 4, that's a difference of two squares. So I know that x squared minus 4, that's the same thing as x squared minus 2 squared. And that's going to factor down to x minus 2 and x plus 2. Right, the difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared, factors to a minus b and a plus b. So here, why is that nice? Because we have x minus 2 in our first denominator and x plus 2 in our second. And if we multiply them together, we do get our third denominator. So in other words, I don't need to multiply, to get a common denominator, I don't have to multiply by x minus 2 and x plus 4 and x squared minus 4. I could just multiply everything by x squared minus 4, which is really x minus 2 times x plus 2. So how does that work out for us? What will that do? Well, in the first fraction, we will get x times x minus 2 times x plus 2 over x minus 2. And x minus 2 is itself, so they divide to 1. And what we're left with is x times x plus 2. That's the first fraction. In the second fraction, uh, essentially the opposite happens. The x plus 2s will cancel out. And what's left is x minus 2. And then finally, we just have 8, because in the last fraction, x squared minus 4 and x minus 2 times x plus 2 are equivalent. So anything divided by itself, of course, except 0, which we could run into here, will be 1. So now we're solving this equation, and we get x squared plus 2x, and distributing this x to both terms, plus x, right, I'm distributing a 1 really here, minus 2. And then we'll subtract 8 on both sides. And that will equal 0. So here, we're now down to x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. And this factors to x plus 5 times x minus 2, which means the two roots of our equation would be x equals negative 5 and x equals 2. And these are two possible solutions. But if we plug in 2, we notice that this solution is actually extraneous. We can tell that pretty quickly, but then I'll also show you what it looks like to plug in negative 5. Um, I know this is extraneous because if you take 2 and plug it in for x, you get 2 minus 2, which is 0. So that means, here, we'll check when x equals 2. That would essentially give us 2 over 0 plus 1 over 2 plus 2 is a fourth equals 8 over 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4, which is 0. So this is not true. This is an extraneous solution because 8 divided by 0 and 2 divided by 0 are both undefined. So that, that doesn't actually work. X is not x equals 2 is not a solution. But if we check x equals 5, let's just make sure this, negative 5, excuse me. Let's make sure this works. We get negative 5 over negative 5 minus 2, which is negative 7, plus 1 over um, negative 3, right? Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, equals 8 over... 25 minus 4, which is 21. So negative 5 over negative 7 is really a positive fraction. And then we're really subtracting 1 third, because adding negative 1 third is the same as subtracting 1 third. So this is just 5 sevenths minus 1 third. And we can check that to show it equals 8 21sts. So the common multiple of 7 and 3 is 21. So I multiply my first fraction by 3 over 3, and my second fraction by 7 over 7. And then I get 15 over 21 minus 7 over 21. And that does equal 8 over 21, so these two balance. So in other words, we know that uh, x equals negative 5 works. That's a, that's a solution, yay. But x equals 2 is an extraneous solution. All right, I hope this helped.